Welcome to the Preeminence Podcast. I am your host, Matthew J. Peters, founder of Ascend. Be sure to grab your ultimate guide to preeminence at preeminence.tv. Today, we're talking about pre-launch construction. So tune in, listen up, and get ready to take a focused action on your message, mission, and presence to create accelerated results starting right now. I want to give you a reality check and encouragement. You know, a lot of times we see the new iPhone come out or we see the new Tesla car come out or we see NASA launching something up into space into low Earth orbit and we're wondering, wow, isn't that amazing how they did that? Now, you can also take this into someone in your industry who is launching a new product They're launching a new service, a new coaching program, or uh, software as a service or something. You're seeing all these launches of new things, these new newsworthy events in the media. They're saying, here's something brand new. Check it out. Consume it. Buy it. And you're thinking, okay, I'm working on this. I've got this idea. I've been working on it. And it's just not coming together. I want you to understand when you see... NASA has something that's taking off from that launch pad and going up into orbit. It took years and years and hundreds of people or thousands of people to construct and to to design everything, to get everything past inspections, to create the softwares to run that different hardware they're building. Think about just the construction of the launch pad, let alone every little piece of that that spaceship. The fuel, getting the fuel there, getting all of those calculations exact within fractions of a millimeter to make sure everything is, is going to be safe for the people on that, that flight. You think about the iPhone or smartphone. Look at what it is that you are listening to this on. It's extremely complex. And that then that didn't just come out from, you know, someone had an idea and they put it into a CAD design and they printed the thing out and boom, it's out there to start selling it. I want to encourage you because a lot of times we have big ideas. We want to create a legacy and we think that somehow we're supposed to develop that overnight or that people develop these things overnight. They all have had setbacks. That's part of this path that you're on. You're going to have a lot of setbacks. You may have already felt those. You may say, you know, but I'm working this full-time job and I'm trying to do this thing. Or I've got five projects going on and this is really my passion. And I just, I need to make enough money so I can do these other things and I can hire people to do this. That's the name of the game. And I want to tell you, it's okay. Just keep going. You're going to make it. If you have to walk a hundred miles, you'll make it. It, you're not going to make it in a day. People do run 100 miles over the course of a few days. You know, they have ultra marathons where people do that. But you don't have to run an ultra marathon. Just as long as you, as long as you set your pace and start moving towards it, it could be one mile a day, 10 miles a day, you're going to make it there. Don't, you don't have to burn yourself out. You don't have to hustle 20 hours every day, you know, if you don't want to. What I'm saying is this. When we see the launch of someone in our industry doing something new, we see a new film come out, we see a new software come out, we forget of all the backstory. We forget of all the nights they were up, all the failures, all the times they had to ask people to extend them credit, that all the times they went bankrupt, all the times that people laughed in their face, all the times that they needed to go out and raise more money because what they thought it was going to cost was actually Uh, a fraction of what they needed. When they went along this path, they realized in their developments that they were wrong or the market didn't want what they thought that the market wanted and no one was buying it. No one was interested. And so they had to change along the way. I want to let you know that you just, you got to work with it. If you see that spaceship taken off from Cape Canaveral or wherever you know a spaceship is taken off um, and it's it's launching, you have to understand that that was thousands and tens of thousands of man hours of people figuring this stuff out, 
constructing it. You know, they had to mine the materials just to make the metal to put the thing together. They needed to create those computers custom. They didn't just take a Windows computer or a Mac computer, open it up and say, this is how we're going to control this, this ship. Everything was custom made. When you're creating this first product, it doesn't matter if it's an eight-week training. It doesn't matter if you're writing a book. It doesn't matter if you're creating a software. Just stick with it. Just know that you, if you're going to build anything of value, anything that's going to last, you're going to have to build that foundation you're going to want to make sure you build that foundation right and strong. You know, I've, I've worked on houses in Mexico. And the two houses that we worked on had uh, floors that were dirt. And so we were literally like, the, it was dirt on a lot. And we started by pouring a pad. And if we went too thin on that pad, guess what was going to happen over time? The weight of that house was going to crack the foundation and then you, we'd have problems. So if we just put a little bit more material on there, if we took our time and let that cure and just let that concrete do its job, it was going to work out. We would have a nice firm foundation then we could build anything we needed to on that and we knew it was going to hold you're building a foundation, a legacy. If you are choosing to be preeminent in something, just know it's a lifelong journey. And that lifelong journey, you want to have a foundation of something. Maybe you're working on six months, eight months, a year, a year and a half, two years. You've been growing this thing. You've been getting input from people. You've been testing things. You get more people on board to help you create this thing. Know that these things don't happen overnight. And when I mean overnight, sometimes it doesn't happen in six months. That's okay. You'll see people that are marketing to you, especially if you're in your, the uh, coaching or mentoring space. A lot of times you'll see people marketing to you. Here's how you do this thing in a week or two weeks or eight weeks. I'm going to show you how to launch this program. Launching what they're saying is still a test. It does not mean you're going to be successful. Or people will say, I took this course and I ran a a webinar and I made $6,000 or $10,000, whatever. I'd say, that's fantastic. How many times can you do that now? Show me that you can do that over and over and over again. And if you hear people that have done that over and over and over again, that's great. They are learning from their mistakes. They keep on figuring out how to make it better because you need to know how to make it better and have that firm foundation. So many people you have, you hear testimonials of, they've had these tremendous results it's literally like a one-time thing or a short-term thing because there was no foundation there. This happened to me. I, I was selling programs for $25,000 and I was literally really good at convincing people to buy from me. I did not have the foundation of business sense saying, these people had no reason to buy your program. I was looking to fill my program. I was looking at numbers, trying to hit my goals, my financial goals for the month. I was really naive and I was thinking it was all about collecting the money because a mentor at the time said, get the money, get the money, get the money. And I didn't have the foundation of, all right, here's the qualities you're looking for in this individual. And it has nothing to do with, do they have enough money in their bank account? Because that's what I was taught is like, do they have the money? Obviously, in order for you to work with them, they have to have the money. But I learned over the course of a year, year and a half, two years, how to see in people the people who were going to do this and the people who were not. I'm happy to say that it was about two years in, I made a lot of mistakes in coaching and mentoring people. Um, people would drop out after a month, two months, three months out of their six month or year commitment. I didn't, I wasn't charging people. I actually let people um, continue on my services. And I say, hey, just make sure that you, you know, pay me for last month and catch up this month. And then I was still serving them. They're still showing up for the calls, complaining, not doing anything. And yet I was still serving them without them paying. And it took me a long time to realize I wasn't the leader yet that I thought I was. And I needed to lead and I needed to set boundaries and I needed to call people on their um, their non-commitment. They're not following through. And I had to hold the line and I wasn't holding the line. And I didn't have a firm foundation. I was just following somebody's program without having the wisdom of the time 
spent building something that was going to last. I wasn't building something that was going to last. Your action step on your path to preeminence is to keep on, is to keep going. No matter what speed it is, just do a little bit more. Just do a little bit more. Keep going. It may feel like you're not making any progress. It's because you haven't gone to that place yet. You realize to get that that space shuttle, I'll say, that rocket an inch off the launch pad, do you realize how much went into it? How many billions of dollars in research and construction and you having to land there, have, having to hire everybody, having to have the fuel and all the testing, everything just to get that thing the first inch off the ground, let alone in orbit. And getting it into orbit, 90% of the fuel that it takes to get is in orbit. The other 10 is just for it to maneuver around in space. I want you to remember that. We see people market stuff that isn't really true. Or if it's true, it's for a very short time. It's fleeting. And you want to build something of value. You want to build something that you can have quality results that when people hear your name, they know you for the amazing results you create. That's all I have for you today. I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow the next episode. Take care. This daily podcast is all about you becoming the preeminent voice in your marketplace. So take the consistent and necessary action each and every day on what you've learned over the last few minutes. When, not if, when you're ready to take your business, your organization, your name, your brand, and your commitment to the level of preeminence, head on over to preeminence.tv where you can download your own copy of The Ultimate Guide to Preeminence. Enroll in the Elevation Program and join us on one of our next live events. If you're not subscribed, simply visit iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Play right now and click subscribe. Until tomorrow, make today and each and every day count towards creating preeminence in your space and a legacy that matters.